Indiana's new Religious Freedom Restoration Act is bringing a firestorm of criticism to that state. Yes, it is. New tonight, 24 Hour News 8's Tom Hillen spoke with a local business owner who also runs a restaurant in Indiana to see how he's dealing with that new law. Yeah, this is a story that just keeps on developing, Brian and Marley, and it all boils down to this. Supporters say the bill protects religious freedoms by allowing business owners to deny service to people based on their religious beliefs. Those against it say it allows businesses to discriminate against the LGBT community. We're telling our employees and our customers and anyone else who will listen that we don't think it's right for any business or anyone really to, dis to discriminate against uh, lesbian gay people. Mark Sellers, owner of Barfly Ventures in Grand Rapids, owns a Hopcat restaurant in Indianapolis. Sellers took to social media after the bill was passed to take a stance on the issue, saying they, quote, oppose discriminatory laws veiled as a restoration of religious freedom. He went on to encourage people here in Michigan to let their lawmakers know how they feel, hoping it doesn't happen here as well. It's just very important as an employer that we can attract the best candidates regardless of their sexual orientation. A similar bill to the one in Indiana passed the Michigan House last year, but failed to go to the Senate. Now a religious freedom restoration bill has been introduced in the Michigan Senate. The economic impact of the passage in Indiana appears to be mounting. Angie's List has canceled a $40 million dollar expansion it planned in Indianapolis. Music group Wilco has canceled its concert in Indy over the law and an organization that was set to hold a convention with nearly 1,000 in attendance has decided it will go elsewhere this year. All things seller says is bad for his business. They can hurt our business um, so I definitely hope that this doesn't happen in Michigan um, and I, I hope that lawmakers will reconsider the repercussions and the ramifications of doing such a mean-spirited thing. Several West Michigan Republicans voted for our state's version of the bill last year. I attempted to talk with them tonight, but no one got back with me. It's unclear at this point if the new bill introduced this year in Lansing has any chance of gaining traction, Brian and Marley. Well, and you have to wonder, too, when you start talking about money, business, the economy, if that will make people yep. backpedal now. Oh, and it's not just Angie's list. I mean, the, the list of big companies there uh, sending letters to the governor, mm -hmm. open letters, it just continues to grow. So it's definitely, we're moving into the money portion of this debate and right. when that starts to right. enter politics. That's how you that get can, their attention. Yeah, absolutely. That's, that's right, all right. Tom Hillen, thank you.